So I'm in LA with my boyfriend. We are heading to Coachella, but we have a few days in LA. So I want to record some of the things I eat and some of the things that we will eventually shop. So this is our proper first meal because yesterday we arrived so tired. Uh, we are having some latte and cappuccino. At this place, which is like a healthy um, market, it's called Error. Like this. So, this is acai mousse, very nice, not too sweet actually. Nothing here is too sweet, maybe because it's healthy. Um, then we have an almond croissant. This one, it has a taste inside that I don't really like, so I give it two out of ten. Pistachio flavor, maybe that's maybe that's it. But the mousse, the acai mousse is nice, and we have a banana mm. This one is ten out of ten. like uh, foundation and concealer I'm going crazy here at Ulta like they have everything in it. we don't have anything in Europe so look at this Hello Kitty face mask I want this they even have like BTS stickers for your pimples I can't be here I'm gonna go broke for lunch at this Italian restaurant called Terroni and this is legit like these uh, matriciana pasta some of the best I ever tried so I'm a messy eater I wasn't born for like food vlogs but here I am either way this is 10 out of 10 place really really nice because we grabbed some pastries at this place called House of Bread and it's only like for orders so you can eat in uh, so we decided to take some uh, croissant and uh, banana bread and uh, chocolate and we also grabbed some Starbucks for our breakfast yesterday just flew by, I don't know what happened we went to some shops, had lunch then went to dinner with a friend and just like that, the day was over. So much stuff to do in LA, so... This is the pain au chocolat. How was it? The pain au chocolat. Good. <laughs> then we have uh, just a regular croissant. And here, I think it's vegan banana bread. I'm just obsessed with banana bread. Alright, let's try it. It's very, very yummy. Almost tastes like sourdough. If sourdough was a pastry. Mm. Love it. This banana bread is 10 out of 10. And um, I was in Paris last month for Fashion Week, so my standards are high. When I tell you the 10 out of 10 pastry wise, you should go to House of Bread. Very yummy. Yesterday, the only purchase I made was at Ulta and it was like $100 of makeup So I felt a little guilty and I haven't bought anything else yesterday but today we are going shopping again so hopefully I'll make some purchases See you then Got some goodies from Stussy Hello, 
actually they have candles on everything for you to worship. This is low key genius. I might take this home. They even have anime soundtracks. Like, I'm gonna get lost in this shop, it's so huge. So we're having lunch at Air One again, but honestly, it's so hard to find healthy food here in LA. So I get why everyone is shopping at Air One, although it's super overpriced. Like really nice soup. I really miss soup when I'm traveling because in Portugal we always eat soup and it makes me feel healthy. I don't eat salads or raw food, so soup is like the healthiest thing that I eat. Oh, and fruit. I got some watermelon too. And this is a burrito, so let's see how it is. Mm. It's actually yummy. It's kind of spicy, which is good. It's very good, actually. I think the quality is very good. I just think it's super, super overpriced, but here I am. So I'm in my hotel room. Um, we had to go grab some in and out. When you're in LA, like there's some other place, you need to go there. And I wanted some pictures there, so uh, I grabbed a dinner. It's, it's so curious how they have like only two burgers for you to choose from, like double cheeseburger or regular cheeseburger and a hamburger. And it works and it's yummy. So yeah, I, I'll give it in my rating in and out. Probably, probably seven out of ten. I still prefer McDonald's, but it's good. It works. Don't kill me. Uh, I want to show you what I um, bought today because I actually grabbed some some stuff. Actually, some packages arrived to my hotel room, so I want to show you that as well. Uh, let's see purchases. So this is actually what I got from uh, Ulta yesterday so ELF is one of my favorite uh, makeup brands that is hard to find in Europe and this one you guys should get it um, whenever I do like uh, makeup videos I'm always using this because it's so much lighter than a regular foundation concealer is also great and this one I'm trying for the first time um, so I'll let you know how it works but it's like a setting powder that has some glow to it so I'm excited sorry about a little break on my whole uh, also got this one. It's like a foaming cleanser because I was out of a cleanser and I wanted to try something new. I tried it yesterday to remove my makeup and actually it's better removing makeup than my uh, last cleanser but um, it kind of made my eyes burn a little bit so I don't know. I'm not a total fan but not a hater either. Let me show you the rest. We also grabbed some vinyls at the Amoeba shop. Oh, that store is so cool, you guys. If you guys are around, you need to check it out. Uh, it has everything you can dream of. Uh, so my boyfriend got this Akira soundtrack vinyl. Um, Death Creeps and this, I don't know. What is this? Idols. Idols? Mm -hmm. Idols. Nice. We have a vinyl player now, so we are obsessed with buying cool vinyls. <laughs> Sorry, it's Amoeba, not Amoeba. <laughs> also grabbed these snacks um, at Target. And I'm controlling myself whenever I go to Target because we are eating out a lot and I'm, I'm being a little sick when I get to the hotel room. I feel a little weird on my stomach, so... But I'm controlling myself um, when I'm heading to Coachella. I'll probably don't vlog 
not probably i won't vlog because i vlogged last year and um i just want to live in the moment but i want to try these ones it's like a mix and it has peanut butter and chocolate also grab this one from tilly's and they have a bunch of brands at tilly's probably not pronouncing it right i'm sorry um but this is like a metallic um sleeveless t-shirt and it looks like vintage um it's so cool i love that and it was like 27 bucks so oh and then from stasi yesterday we tried to go to stasi and uh it was closed for lunch and we couldn't wait because we had so much stuff to do so today we went back and we grabbed some goodies grab this beautiful long sleeve t-shirt and it's a very bright orange um in extra large obviously so i can wear it as a dress if i want to it's so cool and i always share it with my boyfriend we both love like oversized stuff and this hoodie i love it so much it's a, a classic one you guys already know and on the back it's just so cool and i love it because it has this almost like faded fabric it looks vintage too which is nice and now let's open the package that just arrived so this is from uh, Daria and Maria it's a brand established in Spain and LA so I told them I was here and they sent some goodies dear Inish, it's a pleasure for us to send you this gift enjoy it, can't wait to see you wearing it thank you so much Daria and Maria ooh, I see some feathers <gasps> Oh my gosh, just like an American jersey, reinvented. Oh my god, guys. Wow, this is so perfect. Rethinking all my Coachella outfits right now. I want to show you properly. Look at this. I'm obsessed. And the back is so beautiful too. This is just so cool. And second item. We have here oh it's a denim skirt full of patches I love it oh my gosh how cool is this I want to read carefully all the patches I love patches and stickers and it's obsessed with this reinvented stuff oh we have an extra one oh my gosh can't wait to style this definitely need to shoot this while I'm here in the States how cool is this? and that's basically all I got for today we're at Venice trying to do like a muscle or whatever this is called how <laughs> cute We're back in LA, I got this t-shirt, very patriotic, as a souvenir uh, in the desert and Coachella is over, by the way, and it was like amazing, I think it was even better than last year, it was our second year at Coachella and I know I didn't vlog but I was watching Frank Ocean, which is my favorite artist, so I really want to take the time to just be there in the moment, try not to do that more um, today we ate uh, at the ramen, Silver Lake ramen, it was really good but it's so big so I couldn't finish it and now we stopped at um, Blue Bottle Coffee we were trying to taste Blue Bottle for the longest time but we don't have it in Portugal so yeah, and it's yummy, it's like um, just a regular Americano that's basically it, we are leaving tomorrow so I only have one meal left but I still want to go to some shops, hopefully. Uh, I think at least one. I want to visit the hundreds in Fairfax. And then we'll have like our dinner. I don't know what it's gonna be. So, yeah, set to leave.
these cargo shorts. Should I take them? Yes or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't fit anything else on our luggage, but we're gonna we're gonna see. <laughs> now we have uh, cargo pants and all uh, this Vienna t-shirt that I uh, just love this outfit so much. I wanna shop everything and I don't have space in my luggage. Send help. Hey guys, so it's very noisy in here, but I wanted to turn the camera on to say goodbye to you guys. I have a huge flight ahead of me, like 12 hours or so. Uh, so this is my last meal here in Starbucks. Not proud of it, but I actually found this iced chocolate almond milk shaken espresso, which I'm not sure we have in Portugal. I discovered it here and it's so good. Might be my new favorite drink here. So 10 out of 10. And the bagels are good too, so... I like Starbucks, what can I say? <laughs> Yesterday we had um, McDonald's in our room for dinner, so that's why I didn't record. And I know this is like a half as vlog, uh, but I, I was trying to live in the moment, so just showing you what I ate here and what I shopped, and hopefully you enjoy it. Right, See you on the next one. Bye guys! Cheers!